Hi YouTube. I hope you're doing great. I had a pretty good day. I got up and uh, well went out and fed my horse and I made some pickles today. Um, some garlic dill. Just round slices. Refrigerator pickles because they'll be ready to eat in a couple days. So, yeah, they'll be great. I made a gallon of them. So, you know, not canned, but in a jar. So, yeah, they'll be good. I made them before like that, and they turn out really well. So, um, yeah. And then I made some, uh, got supper ready. I had a real thin, uh, last night we had, uh, they were porterhouse. There was three of them in a pack, and I um, kind of browned one and got it ready for today. And made some rice last night but today I took and added some uh, green peppers and onion and red pepper flake and fresh everything was fresh fresh tomatoes and some spice and I made some uh, Spanish rice and um, stuffed some two green peppers with lots of rice for us to each have one later tonight so I have it all ready to put in the oven, which will be really good. Really good. I love that stuff. I used to not like it when I was a kid, but I don't know. I really do now. And you can put celery in it, too, if you want. You know, pretty much anything you have. I suppose zucchini would be okay, chopped up real tiny, you know. But anything you want to stuff your peppers with, you know, that type. So, excuse me. Mm. I don't know if it was a man or a woman today, but somebody, or it might have been last night, somebody called me sheep, and then I thought it was being funny, and then I thought, well, it could have been kind of mean, but because I think of Satan's um, female followers as cows, so somebody called me sheep, and I go, cow, ha, 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 <laughs> and then I'm thinking about people calling names on YouTube, you know, it's like, well, if we were calling farm animals, I could have said pig, you know. Then I was thinking, if I could be a farm animal, what one would I pick, you know? Well, I would be a duck, because ducks can swim, they can fly, and then, yeah, they duck. <laughs> so, yeah, that's a pretty talented animal. I'm a big bird lover, lover anyway, as a lot of you probably already know, so, yeah. My favorite was my chicken. Well, I loved my pheasant, too. That was a really cool bird. Really, really cool. But, yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. And then I watered my garden some because it was a little warm out and we were supposed to get some rain last night, but it was pretty humid last night and all day today. But it's been really cooling off through the nighttime now. So, like sometimes into the 50s, which is a little bit unheard of this time of year. It's not unusual for us to be like even 70 something through the night and 80s and 90s during the day. So, yeah. <laughs> the weirdest thing I had uh, comments missing on a couple of my videos not one in particular I know a guy um, told me his name and then erased it and um, I won't say anything to anybody because it's really if they they don't want people to know I mean and it was sweet enough that they let me know you know so I wouldn't say and He's like, why do you want to know, you know, to check on me? No, I don't check on anybody, you know. I just go by how they act, and that would tell me pretty much the things they've been through anyway. I can see, you know, so it's like, yeah, no biggie. I don't care. I never check on. The only people I've ever checked on is my own kids. When we weren't talking for a while, I've checked on them to see what kind of trouble they were in or out of, you know, that type of thing. So, luckily, we're communicating pretty well, although I know my youngest one is um, 
struggling right now real hard. Well, they both kind of are, but they're mm, kind of growing up. Well, I watched a Robin Hood video on, oh, like God's tough love and whether or not people need to really be woke up. There's some that are so um, detached from God that, yeah, I would like to see them really wake up no matter what it takes. And it might be drastic, you know. So, yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, and never, I, I don't ever want anybody being hurt, but, you know. No, not at all. <laughs> no, scared. Yeah. yeah. I'd love to see people that are um, ignorant to God be afraid. Yeah, hell yeah, it ain't going to kill him. And if it does, he'll take care of him. No biggie. I've had heart attacks and strokes, you know, from my allergies. I'm okay now. But, you know, for a while there, I went through some really rough times with my heart so God takes care of it he will and I asked him too I was in pain it's like oh God you know so yeah he he'll help but anyway back to those missing comments I thought well maybe it was because I was using my laptop for a change instead of my little phones and maybe that had um you know, like taking a lot of power um, to run it, and maybe my internet server server was um, slow because of the data usage or something. Then I thought, no, it really doesn't account for the missing comments because I seen them there, and then they weren't there no matter. And I looked like about, for the one, I looked like five times and another one, I looked two or three, it's like, uh, so if somebody, if you um, write me a message and I don't get back to you, and it's not in my email, I don't know what to say. Try it again, you know, but I'm really good at answering people too. Even my foes, you know, if you're like, um, even being cruel, I'll say something and try not to be you know, snotty. I mean, it might be depending on how I'm approached, but typically I'm as nice as I can be. So, yeah. So I don't know what's, is anybody else having trouble with comments? Like, um, anybody say, hey, I wrote to you and you didn't write back? Or, I mean, I didn't have that happen. I just noticed there were comments there and then they were gone. So it's time consuming, but I don't know if it happens. I'm going to give it a, a one try. Like if it's not there, that's it. You know, because um, what I waste trying to do that, I could be doing other things. Even if it's just relaxing. So, yeah. And taking care of our health is really important, you know. If um, you're able to, and then she takes a drag of her cigarette, may cause cancer. Doesn't mean it will. It just says may. And it may not, right? Just like drinking alcohol may give you liver failure. Even, even if you only drink a little amount, your liver can go into shock. You could get um, diabetes in a day, and the sugar could affect your own whoop, off the scales, gone, you know. So if God wants to take you, he's going to take you anyway. So, and that would be all right, you know. I might have a split second of fear, like, ah, oh, oh, yeah, that's right, I'm okay, <laughs> you know. God, the ultimate martial art artist, he grabs you, you know, 
did that scare you? Yeah, kind of did for real. <laughs> what I hate is when somebody you live with scares you and it's an accident, you know? It's like oh, they weren't there and all of a sudden they're there. It's like, wow, I hate that shit. <laughs> Boo, you know? Oh, this morning I went on uh, Bruce Sees All live stream. I was on it, oh, maybe once or twice before live. I mean, I pop in and say hi to him every once in a while. But more often lately, his videos are phenomenal. And live moon footage, it's really cool. So um, anyway, he's got a really nice community over there. People from all over um, the UK, uh, Europe, Italy. Um, let's see, I saw, what did they say? Um, Switzerland, um, Canada, of course, US, of course. Um, I think there was Spain. I mean, there is even a deaf guy named Eric, and Eric's got a channel. So I guess he's got. Um, sky footage of some type I might check out so yeah really really nice community of people over there so if you ever feel like chatting and you love the sky that's a good place to meet some people you know I saw a truth seeker was over there I subbed him um, really nice lady named Darla she's kind of the lady in the house if you know what I mean you know it's pretty neat saying hi to everybody as fast as you can that type you know really cool sweet lady um guy named pug he's pretty cool just some really nice people so yeah and Bruce of course he's good dude good guy I shouldn't say dude um that does translate down the deepest meaning of dude is a hair on an elephant's behind. True. That's what a dude is. So, like, yeah. So next time you call somebody dude, <laughs> you know, just think, well, are they? See, dude used to be like a dandy or or a well-dressed gentleman you know but um well we all know that but yeah <laughs> i had a dog named dandy he was an irish setter really pretty he was a dandy danny mcbarker was his registered name <laughs> nut so, i let him have one litter of puppies with a girl dog named Grandy and they had 13 baby iris setters and two were white which would make them Gordon setters and one was black so and they, that's also a Gordon setter considered if it isn't red then it's a Gordon if it's a type of setter so yeah so, and they are bred out of the Irish wolfhound, which comes directly from the wolf and are closely related also to the Afghans. Um, but the Irish wolfhound and mastiff blood coming out directly out of jackal and wolf blood makes the Irish setter what they are. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, pretty interesting. I used to really get into um, animal breeds, dog breeds, horse breeds, um, rabbit breeding, and that type. A little bit into chickens, and pretty much into cattle way back when. Different types, you know. So it's like our neighbor has um, those double muscled Scottish Highlander. I was almost said sheep. They're a Scottish Highlander um, cattle 
there's an actual name for them and it escapes me right this second but yeah they're really they got beautiful long fur and um, like I say the double mu muscles makes it um, leaner like our black or red Angus are real lean and to me that has a lot to do with their very active <coughs> in fact working with black Angus Angus especially is a little difficult <laughs> A lot of people go for the Herefords, the cattlemen out west, because their um, their gentle and their temperament is not like an Angus. They're kind of crazy, and then they started breeding what they call the white face, a Charlet, a very very tall cow that comes from the Jersey and the Holstein mixture, and they're just a white cow called a charlet and then i know the swiss brown swiss and the jerseys and but i had uh two um herford heifers girls babies um and i had one holstein steer boy that was fixed personally And then the cow I milked when I was on a ranch where I lived, she was a uh, brown Swiss Jersey mix, and she had the creamiest milk, and the, I could make the best butter, and it was really good, good stuff. Yeah, now I'm on this farm animal kick, thanks to the person that was name calling me. <laughs> you know, it's like, why, you know. That's okay. It's like I'm being led to some slaughter, you know, sheep, you know. Yeah, whatever. It does bug me, but it's like, well, whatever. They must feel very animal-like, so I just thought I'd respond in kind, you know, <laughs> just as kind as they were. Yeah, it's like people calling people dear yeah right sure you know honey bunches of oatmeal <laughs> let's see can I think of something else on that <laughs> honey bunnies <laughs> it was pretty cool when I first met my little sister Ebony and we found out we call people honey bunny, you know, like our kids or whatever, you know. So, yeah. The things that um, siblings that weren't raised together um, do that are similar are really interesting. So, yeah. It was cool meeting everybody. You know, especially like my little brother, Lee J. He's not little, but he's very big. But it's really cool. You got a sister named JJ. Well, it goes, um, Teresa, JJ, um, J and Ebony. And then on the other side, my dad's side, I've got a Michelle, a Deborah, a Michael, a David Jr., and, um, oh, there is one other boy, and I can't think of his name right now. That's bad. Oh, well. No, maybe there isn't. But, yeah. So, I think that is it. Ah, let me see. David Jr., I don't know. <coughs> I haven't tried to talk to him for a while, so. Yeah. One of their daughters follows me on Facebook. I know that's for sure. I don't know if she watches me here, but 
she sees me. It's really weird. On Facebook, I have like, um, oh, probably like 112 friends now. But like 183 people follow me. And then they say, find out who the people that are following you are. So I go and try and find that out. And it only comes up with like a handful of them, like about 13, 12, 13, whatever. It's kind of weird that people are watching me or following me. And I don't even know who they are, you know. But I guess if they want to follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Better be careful who you're following, right? You know, I am, you know. Could be a lot of my family members that I don't talk to. And because um, I do have a very large family. Not um, like aunts and uncles on my mom's side because she didn't have any brothers. Well, she has one brother. He's half um, Cuban. No, wait. Yeah, something like that. And then, uh, and then all of them are gone on my dad's side. He was older than my mom actually uh, raped her. Well, it's rape when you're a girl and a growing man that was married takes you to bed and he bought her a six pack first and you know tried to sleep with my grandmother but that didn't work so when grandma left the house he started playing footsies with my mom sob so i had a hard time talking to him when i found him you know he called me babe and i was like click i'm done with you you know, anyway. <laughs> he was a pretty big fisherman. He owned a, um insurance company. And he used to go on these big fishing trips. And If he was a nice person, I would have liked to have met him. But just talking to him, and that was enough. But it was good to hear what my heritage was just from him on my on the, on his side of the family there. So, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. People are weird even if you're related to them. I'm glad I got some new friends on Facebook now I can go and gives me more to do like on the weekend um, videos are kind of slow on YouTube so that'll give me more to more to do yeah. <laughs> anybody doing anything special this weekend I don't think I am I might one of these days I still want to get up to the big lake for it freezes over but and in the fall it's kind of nice because um nobody's around so yeah I'll just have to see how things go actually too has a lot to do with um what I'd be willing to put up with to get there because <laughs> I mean, I could drive, but I'm not going to because I don't have insurance right now, and I'm not going to do that. So I would have to depend on somebody else, and I don't know that I'm willing to do that. So I'll have to see. But, yeah, anyway. I still get this silly little song I sang in my head stuck. <laughs> Go bop, 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 and I love. That's crazy. The way they talked back in um, the 20s, you know, 
And the songs from the 40s, a lot of them are extremely corny, like just goofy, you know. But it was it's a good goofy. It's a innocent kind of goofy, you know what I mean? You probably do if you're old enough. Or even not. A lot of a lot of people, I guess, um, younger people are getting into like uh the dance called the swing and jitterbug, you know, and um which is so fun. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Anyway, it was so funny. I had an Aunt Lois, and she taught me how to do the Charleston, you know. <laughs> so it was funny. My mom taught me how to do the Lindy Hop. Um, that was pretty cool. But just watching my aunt do that, because that was really racy back then, you know. <laughs> like flappers, you know, if you know what a flapper dress is or how they dressed. So, kind of the times of, um, oh, let me think, Bonnie and Clyde and that era, you know. So, and speakeasies and prohibition and that, them times. So if you were like uh, drinking and smoking cigarettes or whatever, you were wild. If you were a woman, you were really wild, you know. So. Yeah. I was never extremely wild because I've always been real... Um, conscience of my behavior you know so but I mean everybody's mouth goes a little more when they're drinking I think you know so it could be good or bad <laughs> usually was good in my case but you know and like I say I, I'll still have a drink I mean I haven't I can't remember now because <laughs> I don't have a problem turning it on or off, you know, that type of thing. So, but Most of the stuff I'm allergic to, but every once in a while I get a craving like, dang, like a beer would be good, or I like to take like um, a really good light lager um, and get it almost ice cold in, in a bottle and then drink it, or um, I love pina coladas, slushy stuff, I like slushy alcohol, <laughs> used to like just whiskey, and I'd slush it down, but I was in a mood, <laughs> I really was um, not drinking to forget my sorrows, I was drinking to come a little bit meaner than I naturally would have been, so I could apply myself in a different way how I naturally wouldn't. And it worked. And then I quit. So that's uh, when you literally use alcohol. <laughs> I was a user. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm going to let you go. I wanted to say hi. And um, I don't know if I'll be back tomorrow or not. Depends on what tomorrow brings. I've got so much yard work to do before fall hits. If I don't start thinking about doing it now, fall comes around, winter hits, and then I wouldn't get it done. So um, just little things like that. So I'll say peace and love from Pine City, Minnesota, USA. Thank you for joining me. Later, everybody.